welcome back. We're here at Epcot. Um, in case you are wondering why I'm holding my camera, it's because a large string of events just occurred trying to get here and I don't even want to go into it, but it was just one disaster after the another. And then the final straw was for getting my SD card at home. So we're going to be walking around with this and filming on our phones. The reason I'm filming this video is because it has been brought to my attention that there are a lot of you that don't know that the Epcot festivals aren't 365 days of the year. Depending on when you come, there could be a time when the World Showcase has not that much to do, not that much to eat, not that much to drink. So I want to kind of show you guys this like dead time. And also, we're gonna go on Spaceship Earth to kind of lift our spirits first. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I'm so embarrassed to walk around filming on my phone and holding this camera. Like, I know it doesn't matter what people think, and normally I don't care, but I feel like people are gonna judge me. Like, why am I filming with my phone and not my camera? We haven't been on Spaceship Earth in quite some time, so let's go. Spaceship Earth, here we go. I'm still obsessed with this mural. What if we tried to recreate this one day? Oh, that'd be so cool. So I don't know why, but normally this is an omni mover, so it's like constantly moving, but we stopped here. I think the doors weren't closing, they had to manually close them, stop the ride, and then we started again, but I've never had this happen before, so. Ladies and gentlemen, our time travels have been momentarily delayed. Please remain seated. Your time machine vehicle will begin moving again at any moment. Did you guys cheese? that will always be available is the Starbucks here and the quick service. Connections Cafe and Connections Eatery. Um, that's gonna be right here across from the exit of Spaceship Earth. I have no idea how I didn't know this existed. Um, I stopped in the, the gift shop really quick, but they have the Decades collection. And look at these really fun Jungle Book ears. And they're like embroidered. I'm so tempted to get them, oh my goodness. And they're but they're forty dollars. I promise I won't show too much merch, but these launch fly bags are really cute. So it's either those or these Indiana Jones ears that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I don't know which one should I get. Epcot's Food and Wine Festival starts July twenty seventh. So if you're coming before then, from now to then, there will be like no festival going on, and this happens between each festival, so they have time to set up. 
and there's four festivals throughout the year. There's the Arts Festival, Festival of the Arts. There is the Flower and Garden Festival, Food and Wine Festival, and Festival of the Holidays. And in between each, there's a small gap, either a week or sometimes a couple weeks for them to like prep all over Epcot for the festivals. But in the meantime, there's gonna be a lot of booths that are closed, but there is a lot of stuff to do still. Just, I guess, not as much to do in terms of booths. So for example, another booth that's closed. Another booth is usually over there that's closed. But when we get to each country, I'll kind of show you things that you're able to do in exchange of the booths being closed. But definitely when you're booking, if it's possible for you to, check to see when the festivals are so that you can like utilize Epcot World Showcase completely. So Canada, I guess, is doing some refurbishments, but in here is Le Cellier, which is a restaurant, a steakhouse. They've also got a popcorn stand. All right, just to add to it, my camera just ran out of memory. So I had to sit down and delete a ton of stuff. We're back in action, so let's keep going. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even remember what I was saying, but the Harmonious barge is gone. So yeah, Harmonious is gone, which I loved Harmonious. I haven't even seen the, sh the temporary show. I mean, I have, but I, because I've seen it, I haven't made a point to like come vlog it because it's meh, it's, it's meh. I can't wait for the new one to come. So in the UK pavilion, which is what we're coming up to, to the left there, we have a pub. And right behind the pub, there's a fish and chips restaurant. That's also a quick service. So those are the two things that are permanently there that you can check out. They also have a tea tour, a free tea tour in the UK pavilion where they'll give you like a free tour. You just have to ask for it. And I think you get a free sample of tea afterwards, which is really fun. So we're here in France and they have a couple different places to eat here. Le Chef de France there, which is a restaurant that you can make reservations for. It's not a quick service though. You sit down and you eat. Then inside, they also have a place where you can get ice cream um, and you can also get it squished in a brioche bun, which is what's really popular. And then to the right side, if you go to Ratatouille's area, they have the crepery, which they have, um, I think like a quick service one where you can just grab it at a window. Then they have the actual restaurant as well. And in the restaurant, um, they have like savory crepes and sweet crepes. In Morocco, you have, I think two places to eat. You have the restaurant here, which I've heard good reviews about. And then you have inside that way, you have a quick service. Sorry, I forgot to mention the, the restaurant behind me is called Spice Road Table. So in Japan, we have a hibachi style restaurant. We've got a couple booths in there that serve alcoholic beverages. Um, and then you can also get like cool Japanese snacks inside the gift shop. The America Pavilion, you have funnel cakes. And you also have Regal Eagle Smokehouse, which is a quick service that I'm yet to try. I've heard it's really good, so I really want to try it, but it's in America as well. In Italy, you have a couple different things. You have the gelateria, which you can get gelato. And I think you can also get um, some alcoholic beverages here, if I'm not mistaken. And then also in there, you can also get some more alcoholic beverages. And there's also a restaurant in there that's like a really good pizzeria um, amongst other things that I have yet to try, but they also sometimes have the quick service open, which just gives you big slices of pizza. In Germany, there's a restaurant in there that I see reservations for all the time called Biergarten Restaurant. There's also the Caramel Quiche, which has really, really good like um, pastries and stuff. And then there's also a booth that you can get or like a stroll that you can get beer at. Here in the Africa inspired area, they've got refreshment outposts, which just has hot dogs, Dole Whips, frozen slushies, and beer. Coming up on China, we have a quick service in there. And we also have this stand out here that serves boba tea. In Norway, aside from the frozen ride, there's a bakery, but that's it. Oh, just kidding. There's also a little booth out here too for drinks. And last but not least, coming up on Mexico, we've got that building, which is a quick service. And then in here, we've got La Cava del Tequila, which is a bar that they also serve a little bit of food like nachos um, or chips and queso sorry and then they also have a sit-down restaurant that requires reservations that looks over the Grand Fiesta tour which is really cool also want to eat here and now we're back at the front of the World Showcase all right oh you can see Spaceship Earth behind me but that is gonna be it for today so that's basically all the things you can do around World Showcase so you can essentially drink around the world and eat around the world if that's something that you want to do but it just will be a bit harder and more expensive because some of the pavilions only have restaurants that require reservations so it would be difficult to eat there um it's nice when they have something quick service or like the snacks but it just makes it a bit more difficult and also a bit more expensive than just like kind of going around eating at the booths but there's definitely things to do 
between festivals for sure like i just pointed out a ton of them in each country so there's definitely things to do just just not like festival specific stuff so keep that in mind when you're coming i want to do a video where i go and do everything in each country and i dedicate a video to that so like in france i go to the ice cream place i go to the restaurant and i try the creperie so like i want to dedicate videos to doing those things to kind of give you guys ideas on what you what kind of countries you'd want to hit outside of the festivals but let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in but until then i will see y'all next time i have a ton of staycations coming up that i'm really excited to show y'all thank you so much for watching i love y'all have a wonderful weekend magic month and i'll see y'all in the next one